Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we're going to explore the new important features of Blender 4.3. The official release is planned for November 12th, 2024. First, let's download Blender 4.3 beta to try. Go to the Blender download page. The link is in the video description. Click the Blender 4.3 beta link and download the software. Extract the zip file. Run the program. In Blender 4.2 and earlier versions, action selectors were not displayed in the Properties Editor. Action selectors are now shown for data blocks in the Properties Editor. This means you can now select the action for mesh, material, world, scene, camera, light, and many other data block types. Another cool new feature is the Bone Eyedropper. In Blender 4.2 and earlier versions, we need to select specific bones from the list. We can now select any bone with eyedropper. A new iterative unwrapping method, Minimum Stretch, has been added, which reduces distortion by gradually refining the result. The Minimum Stretch method works by repeating the unwrapping process multiple times to find the best solution minimizing UV stretching for better accuracy. A new metallic BSDF node has been added to the shader editor. This is an advanced metal node that will provide some additional metallic options. Metallic BSDF makes metallic material settings easier to access and adjust with a compact node. The F82 tint conductor Fresnel approximation is the same one currently used by the principled BSDF. The F82 tint approximation is artist-friendly, allowing color inputs for easier adjustments. The conductor Fresnel is more complex to use, as it requires IOR and extinction coefficients per color channel as inputs. However, it can produce more accurate results for real-world metals. A new Gabor Noise Texture node was added. The Gabor Noise node creates random bands that you can control for direction and width. Additionally, it can be used to create omnidirectional noise like the standard noise texture node. The volume scattering node now supports more phase functions, including Henier Greenstein Rayleigh for atmospheric scattering, Fournier Foron for underwater scattering, Drain for interstellar scattering, and Mi for clouds and fog. The principled BSDF now has a diffuse roughness input, which acts like the roughness input on the diffuse BSDF. This slider allows users to transition from the older Lambertian diffuse algorithm to the more physically accurate diffuse algorithm called Oren Nayar. This results in slightly brighter and more saturated results for existing materials. In Blender 4.2 and earlier, light and shadow linking was only available in cycles. With Blender 4.3, EV now also supports light and shadow linking. Light linking can be set to affect only specific objects in the scene. Shadow linking additionally gives control over which objects act as shadow blockers for a light. This adds more artistic control for lighting by breaking the laws of physics. Brushes are now stored in shared asset libraries across projects instead of being duplicated in each blend file. The built-in brushes are located in the Essentials library that comes with Blender. To create a new brush, you can duplicate an existing one. Each custom brush is saved in its own blend file within the user asset library, with any textures and images included. Multipass compositing support for EV was added. This is done by copying the passes used by the compositor node tree to the DRW view data, which can then be accessed by the viewport compositor. A new for each element zone has been added, allowing nodes in this zone to evaluate each element of a geometry individually. The results can then be combined into new geometries or attributes. This zone is useful for tasks that were previously complex or impossible, but simple field evaluation remains faster than using math nodes within the zone. Grease Pencil is now supported within Geometry nodes. 
In geometry nodes, a grease pencil geometry consists of a flat list of layers, with each layer containing curves. Custom attributes can be added to layers, curves, and curve control points. Many nodes that already work with curves are now compatible with grease pencil data as well. In these cases, each layer is processed separately. Grease Pencil can be converted to curves and back with the appropriate conversion nodes to use all the curve editing features. When converting Grease Pencil to curves, each layer is turned into a separate curves instance. This allows the processing of each layer as curves separately. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.